first time I heard the song God Is Here was um, in a quite a simple form. Israel sent it to me. He'd been um, working on it with Phil Wickham and I loved it. I, I loved um, just that thought that we are to continue to remind people, you know, this whole project is revealing Jesus and this song, God Is Here. You know, it's so easy for people to forget that God is here. We get caught up in our immediacy of our lives and in the problems and, you know, we can so easily forget to lift up our heads and to acknowledge Christ in the middle of absolutely everything, that He is over it all, above it all, in control of it all. So these words, God is here, God is here, God is here and He is able. There is nothing too difficult for our God. And again, my passion is to put those lyrics in the mouths and in the hearts of just everyday men and women like you and myself to give us courage for whatever we may be faced with. And, you know, Psalm 68 says, let God arise, His enemies be scattered. And you know, every time that we just continue to acknowledge and exalt King Jesus above everything else, it's amazing how the things of the earth just um, become so much less important and the, the lack in our lives or the troubles we are facing on the valleys, the, the darkness of the valleys we could be walking through, seem to find their perspective, you know, in the light of the wonder of who our God is. In that beautiful old hymn, Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. Look full in His wonderful face and the things of the earth grow strangely dim in the light of His glory and grace. That's, you know, God is here, God is here, God is here and He is able. So I really pray, you know, when you lead it as well, find some, I don't know, boldness to declare it um, because we all need to be reminded in the urgency of the hour that we live in and the days that we live in, we need to be reminded and to understand that anointing is on us to remind others that Emmanuel, God is here.